My name is Hajar Sharif, and I'm the co-founder of the Together We Build It organization. And it's an intergenerational organization working to promote peace. And this means that myself, with um, another group of people, some of them are women, other are young women, um, we work together to promote peace in Libya. So to answer this question, I need to tell you just a little bit about my background. Um, initially, I thought I was going to be a doctor. Um, I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy and that inspired me to actually become a surgeon. And I thought that was really a good way to help people. And then when the revolution started in my country in 2011 in Libya, um, there was also an armed conflict that took place and at the time when it reached to my city I volunteered to work at the hospital and that was that was literally the waking up moment sort of because um, the minute I walked into the hospital I realized that the war did not only affect those who were fighting it, those who carried the weapons and were at the front lines of the, the fighting but it also affected civilians um, and it was, it was really the moment I understood that there is a lot to be done after a war takes place. Um, and that in order to rebuild, in order to build peace, um, that will be done by people like myself um, and like others. There are several. Um, that ranges between poverty, um, climate change, racial injustice, general inequality actually, but the one that concerns me the most um, and the one that I actually spend my time um, working on is violence. In my opinion, violence is one of the most pressing issues to us as a global community because of the fact that it knows no borders. Um, violence does not distinguish between people, does not distinguish between places, um, and it always ends up with drastic effects that is very difficult to, to undo. It's a good question and it's a difficult question to answer. Um, it's the answer to this question is actually what gives me the motivation to do the work I do, um, because I really hope that by the work I do, I will be able to at least um, tell myself, but also show to other people that I tried. Um, I tried to make things better, not only for my generation, but the generations to come. Um, that I try to do my best, um, that I try to not, you know, only focus on myself and what is good to me and my family, but to actually want the things I want to myself for other people as well. Um, if, if I can continue trying, um, even if perhaps I'm not gonna see the results during my lifetime, although I truly hope I do, um, but I'm, I'm glad to think that it will pay off in the future one day. Humanity will always survive, for sure, but it won't necessarily thrive. Um, I don't think... I don't think we are living our lives to survive only. I think everyone wants to thrive and everyone should actually have the opportunity to thrive. Um, everyone should be able to live their lives to its full potential. And that is not necessarily guaranteed with the way we're living our lives right now. It's not necessarily guaranteed to anyone actually, even those who have it, right? Um, even if you are someone who lives in a safe, peaceful country, um, the fact that you have it right now 
Um, it doesn't mean it will always be like this, but as an individual who perhaps have it all um, or have it good to some extent, um, you should try your best to give that to others as well or ensure that others um, enjoy the same. I would want governments and corporations to admit our new reality, um, which is that we live in a globalized society right now. Many people talk about globalization as if it's something that we can still control or we can still go with it or not. Um, but the fact is that we are already a globalized community. Um, and this is something I'm quite sure governments and corporations understand, but not always willing to admit. Um, I wish if governments make their decisions knowing that their decisions does not only affect the territory that they control, um, that their decisions actually also um, knows no borders in terms of their effect and their uh, the indirect effect on other people. Um, and the same applies to corporations, you know. Um, the effect that corporations have on the world generally goes beyond um, where their headquarters is located. Um, so I would really want them to admit this fact and start making their decisions based on this. I actually don't really want them to help me, per se. Um, I would love from them to join me um, and join many others like myself who are trying our best um, to make a difference. Um, because the work I'm doing is not for me, it's not really for myself, per se. Um, and it's not only for for my generation or, or my people. Um, it's something that I hope it will make life better to everyone, actually. Um, so I would want them to ask themselves how can they help themselves as well? Because the fact that you are living right now, the fact that you exist um, um, as part of this globalized society. It also means that you have some responsibility um, to yourself, but also to others, to ensure that everyone can have really just a decent life, you know? Um, nothing glamorous, just peace, like decent, basic human rights, um, that until this day, not everyone enjoys. Yeah.